Hello everyone, welcome to kindergarten and welcome to my classroom. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Um, so I know a lot of people were having technical difficulties with hearing me the, uh, during our first live session. So I wanted to go through the slides once more in a recorded version so that you know exactly what's happening. And you can even rewatch this as many times as you need to. But I'm gonna go through them pretty quick. So this is our just the second page. You can click on any icon to get to what you want to learn about. Um, this slideshow will be sent home by the end of the day. So this is a little bit about me. I'm Mrs. Benskin. This is my fourth year teaching kindergarten and my second year at Glen Hill. So this is just a little bit about me and my family. You can always pause it and read it if you would like. So this is our classroom. So to take a tour of our classroom, just click on the image, but I'm actually gonna escape out of here. I've already pulled it up over here to kind of talk about what our slides will be. Every single day, I will post the assignment, which will be these slides into Seesaw. That's why it's very important that you get into Seesaw. So on the first slide, there will be a morning check-in link. You'll click the link and it'll bring you to a Google form that looks like this. You have to fill it out before our morning meeting every single day. That just tells me if you're here and you're ready to work and how your student is feeling for the day. And then it'll have our schedule. This schedule is what we are trying to get to in the next month or so. Do not worry, this is not what it'll be Monday. That'll be way too much for a student and we all know that but we will eventually be trying to get to this kind of schedule. So then each slide after that is for each section of our schedule. So there'll be a morning meeting slide and then there'll be a link here to click onto the live session. Or you, you go to our reading slide, there'll be a link to the live session and then instructions for the independent work. So there's something for each and every subject. Um, go ahead and play around with this. Look at it, take a look at it. You will not be able to break it, just, um, Get used to the slides and our format and how you will be seeing your students work every day. All right, let me get back to, to this. All right, so make sure to do that. Check it out. Um, so this will be Monday's schedule. Monday's schedule, again, is going to be very, very different. We are going very slowly. I want to make sure that everyone can get into the Chromebook, that everyone can get into Seesaw. That is the most important thing. So this is what Monday will generally look like. We're taking it very slow, okay? We want to go at a, at a slow pace so that everyone can be able to do it. So this will be Monday. We will slowly be adding things throughout the week maybe more live sessions, more activities. Again, this is example of a schedule that we wanna to get to later in the year. Um, I don't expect to get to the schedule until at least a month in. Okay, so we're gonna take it slowly. We're going slow. All right, so these are our virtual expectations. Go through each one of these with your student, get them um, used to what those look like and what they should be doing during a live session. All right, for Seesaw, it is very, very, very important that you get into Seesaw. That is how I will be posting assignments for every single day. There are two apps. There's the class app, and that's where assignments will be posted. And where you'll turn in assignments, that's where the students will be working. The link is what I sent out yesterday. Then there is a family app, and the family app is where you can directly message me. You can see your students' work, and you can view announcements. So that's a way for easy communication between you and I. So when I send this, this slideshow out later this evening, just click on that link and it'll bring you right to it. This is our parent form. So all you need to do is click on the parent form and it'll just get give me a little information about your student. You can fill it out just so I know a little bit more. So this is my contact information. You can, um, I've been emailing you, so you probably already have my email. And then once you have the family app, there's direct messages to me, which is a very quick and easy way to message back and forth with me. All right, I love to-do lists. So this is my to-do list for you by Monday. So go ahead and fill out the parent form, log into Seesaw, and, and then send me a picture of your student. Uh, check out our classroom and get used to those slides. So check it out, play with it, get, get used to how the format will be. And then also go through the virtual expectations with your child. All right, I hope that this was a clearer and better way for you guys to understand what um, remote learning will look like for you and your student this year.